T. Billups Sr., President of the Foundation for Financial Fitness Incorporated. Today, December 10th, at Major Books Incorporated, Claymont, Delaware, Finance, Fitness, and Health, with Dr. Paul Hopkins, Dr. Naturopath, Tim and Angel Hunter, Certified Personal Trainer, and myself, Derek T. Billups Sr. This is the tip portion of the Finance, Fitness, and Health Seminar. We're gonna bring on Angel and Tim Hunter. They're gonna give us some tips on how to just work out a little, do a few things. So look, listen, and be prepared. Tim and Angel Hunter, come on in guys. Hey Derek. Hello. So good to see hey, you. Hey Derek. Hello. How are you? I'm well, Tim. All right, Angel. Great. Hey. Okay, hi guys, everyone out there. Uh, I'm gonna give you a tips, some tips today on two disciplines, push-ups and planks. We're gonna start with push-ups first, give you some examples. The first example is how not to do a push-up. Do not do push-ups wide and hands above your head like this because it incorporates too much shoulder. And make sure your butt is down, not up in the air. So like this, that's kind of wrong because it puts too much stress on your shoulders. What you want to do is bring your hands in like this and then do a push-up. That's more of your chest and your back arms, okay? And this is more of a plank. It's one of the best exercises you can do for your body because this is more of a full body exercise because you're working your upper body, your middle body, and actually your, your lower body, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip, can I, can I do an example? Let me, yes, let me do can. one. Let me yes, make sir. sure. Let yes, me sir. get down. So. We're going to, so you say keep my arms close, yes. not above my head, yes. and just go down like that? Absolutely. Down. This is a perfect example down. of the push-up that you should be doing. He has a good straight plank with his body. It's not moving or jerking around, and his arms are in the perfect position where he's working his back arms, and his hands are perpendicular to his chest, where he's going to be working this muscle group right across the top of his chest. So right. That's a very, very good push-up. Good job, good job, good job, good job. And for the women, you know, I recommend military push-ups too. Yes. Yeah. 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 But many times it's hard for women to get started. So what they can do is it's easier. I don't know why the shrug. Yeah, because the rug is sliding. Can you guys hold it for me? Slide Okay, go ahead. I'll just stand on Same thing for the women. Okay, I've just went wide leg. Advance and do it the same way yes. they do. So, are you saying to me, Tim and Andrew, that the girls, the young ladies, don't have to be on their knees anymore doing them like that? I don't let my old class, school, old I don't school let them do it that way. gymnasium no, stuff in no. class no. on the knees, girls? Okay, no, it's great. not going to incorporate more of the muscle groups in your body to give you more of a full body exercise. Okay. okay yes. All right, the second discipline that I'm going to talk about are planks. Um, there are a couple of dozen, if not more, different variations of planks. Planks, as you know, if you don't know, but they are designed to work your core and to bring your abs into more definition and to make you stronger in your midsection. And you need strength here because you do everything in your life from here, whether you're walking, whether you're grabbing something or whatever. So you need a strong core. Okay, tip number one, planks. We're gonna start with elbow planks. You can just stay in one position like this and do a count as long as you want, maybe 10, 20, 30. If you advance, you can start doing like this. Hand, elbow, variations like that. Or you can do arm touches, okay, like this. Or you can do points. This is called a two point because two points your elbow and one foot are on the ground and the other one is up. Or you can do side planks. Boom, like that. Hold it, come down and switch. Okay. Now, so are you saying, Tim and Andrew, that this works your, your core, the inner mm -hmm. part of here? Yeah. Right, in your stomach area? Let me try, can I try the, yes, what do you sir. call these? These are planks. Planks again? Yes. So elbow down? Yes. All right, just like this. Should my elbows be spread like this or should it be together? Or what's the best way to do it? Uh, 